So I've noticed recently that the uh, power from my uh, laser diode on this inexpensive uh, Vigo has gone way down. I can still um, etch into wood like this. No problem. So wood, paper, cardboard, stuff like that, great. But I can no longer do tiles. I can no longer do well, mirrors. Um, I haven't tried, but I'm going to assume I can no longer etch on glasses. I was doing, you know, glass containers. So, I started looking around on YouTube and different videos, and a lot of the guys were saying that once they had run their heads at full power, after that they seemed to have lost at least 30 to 40 percent of the power of the unit. So I started looking into the lifetime of these things. Well, what's the rated lifetime and, and, and that sort of thing. And I was very surprised to find that unless the seller of the unit, in the case of this is the, the Vigo, unless they're boasting and printing what the hours are on the laser head, you probably have a cheap laser head and it's only going to be good for 10 to 20 hours. Now the difference in how many hours it's going to be good for is going to be on how hard you hit it. If you're running it at low lasing optical powers like you know 40 percent or less it'll probably last a long time probably longer than 20 hours. But if you're hitting it hard apparently it goes really quick and just the other day <clears throat> well it was before Christmas the wife wanted some uh, wood things cut and I went okay let's try cutting all the way through some wood and I had some three millimeter thick basswood and I set it up and it cut the object you wanted I had to go down to a uh, hundred millimeters per minute and run it at hundred percent power and this is the uh, five the five watt they sell it as a 20 watt laser head which means you got five watts of actual optical power and it burned through the the basswood uh, in some places in one pass so I had to do two passes to, to get it to burn hundred percent through the whole thing and the part to drop out I was quite surprised but after I had done those parts I could no longer do any of the other fun things <laughs> that we enjoyed doing so I started looking on YouTube and like say there were guys talking about that yeah once they'd run that full power had gone and then about started looking at how many hours they were good for and it really comes down to if the company isn't boasting about the hours that are on there you probably have the cheap head and it's probably only good for 10 to 20 hours before the power starts going down and down and down and they don't just die they just get weaker it's sort of like you know the light that burns twice as bright burns half as long type thing so I started looking around online and found that the company NEJE that makes a lot of laser heads not only do they make a, a new 20 watt one which would give you the 5.5 watts of lasing power but they make a 30 watt one which gives you 7.5 watts of lasing power so I decided I'd replace my head with one of these for the following reasons. One, they claim that their laser head is good for about 10,000 hours. Now I realize the hours is completely variant on how hard you're hitting and running the thing, but if they're claiming 10,000 versus the uh, 10 to 20 hours on the cheap one, why not? But a lot of them were quite expensive, but they were having a sale at the time that I went for this 30 watt one at a hundred and nine bucks so it's pretty cheap I went ahead and placed the order for one the other thing that this hundred and nine buck one claims to have is air assist they're claiming that the fan on top which is temperature controlled by the unit is uh, also blows air in such a way to keep the smoke and debris away from the lens which of course is going to make your lens last longer and here are the, the specs but you can go to their own website and look it up yourself. It's just uh, N-E-J-E dot shop. And you'll find it. I'm looking at the 30 watt laser. But here they'll tell you right here that it's 20 to 30 watts on the input side, which gives you 7.5 watts of optical power out. And down here a little bit further, they talk about lifetime of 10,000 to 20,000 hours. Again, it's going to be depending on how hard you're hitting it. They talk about the, uh, the the wiring, the pinout of it, all that. They also talk about the lens. 
how the glass lens and most of the uh, inexpensive laser heads um, theirs is, uh, is we'll see, the one in the inexpensive ones they're claiming are normally about 85% efficient and they have a super glass lens in theirs which is like 99% I don't know what that means but it sounds better right so I'm, I've uh, placed the order here it is uh, January 2nd 2021 let's see how long it takes for the new um, head from NEJE to get here or if it even gets here and I actually ordered mine off the uh, AliExpress site because I hadn't, I didn't know they had their own website. I would have just ordered it directly from them had I known. But um, I called it two in one fixed, and you can adjust it. It also comes with a, a testing board that you can hook up. So even if you didn't have a complete laser and you were building your own CNC, you can hook it on there and run it with a pulse width board. This is a slide mount for focusing where you can actually slide the entire unit up and down. The unit itself is smaller. Um, this kind of shows one side of it, the fan. This is a protective red lens, so you can actually look in through this part if you wanted. This is the focusing ring, so this tells you that's the end of the lens right there. The uh, two-in-one adjustable meaning that you can raise and lower the whole head using that special bracket that it comes with it or you can use the adjustable lens for that here they're showing the fan claiming that it can uh, engrave up to five millimeters deep in one pass cut through plywood that's three millimeter in one pass it's speed 100 like I was running uh, anyway it looked really interesting it didn't seem they also make a, a 20 watt version which would give you a 5.5 here they're kind of showing the difference between their laser diode and normal ones where they get the 20,000 hour diode versus the 20 hour diode they talk about that a little bit but they give uh, full specs and stuff and comparisons between things so you might might actually find it interesting you might want to do a, a search on AliExpress or go to their own website for uh, for them and what I'm going to say, oh, well, I'm going to say I've ordered it. Let's see if it gets here. Let's see how long it takes to get here. And once it gets here, is it a direct plug and play or do I have to do something to get it to work? All these things we want to find out. And if it fixes my problem and gets me back where I'm engraving in, uh, in tiles and on glass and on mirrors and I might even try some of the videos I've been watching recently where they're engraving on stainless steel, like knives and scissors, but you put mustard on there first. Some sort of chemical reaction thing. I don't know if that's a joke or not, but I've seen videos going back over two years claiming you can do it, so it must be real. I'd like to try it. Can't do anything right now because this baby's gone weak. Unless I want to burn paper, cardboard, or just do a little bit of wood that's about all it'll do anymore. So, there you go. I'll keep you updated.